And you're scaring people at our hotel for recording their cars and uh, stuff? That's not my intent. Okay. Just let them know I'm just a guy with a camera. Okay, and I, I'll call the police. No, let's not do that. Let's not waste resources, ma'am. Paul, oh, is it okay to get your name? I uh, know, I don't. You can call me guy with a camera. You're being nice. I don't want to do that. Do you have an ID or anything? Oh, I don't answer questions. <laughs> Welcome back. You are here today with your boy, Anthony X. And today we're over in the Bay Area, Menlo Park, California, at the Residence Inn by Marriott. Let's see if they honor and respect my rights to take pictures and video in public and work on my story in peace. Make sure to pound that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support by sharing these videos and leave a comment. Pass or fail, you be the judge. Last but not least, no bootlicking. Menlo Park, California. Let's do this, guys. All right, we made it. Menlo Park, California, just down the street from the Residence Inn by Marriott. It's getting dark, but let's go try to do a quick audit. My back's been hurting, so just bear with me. I'm kind of walking slow. Nasty Nathaniel, if you're out there, this one's for you, brother. All right. Got a vehicle entering right over here. Looks like they're about to check in. All right. We're just off the main little strip here, the little downtown area where all the restaurants are and whatnot. We're not here to bother uh, any of the patrons. We just want to get some B-roll footage and be on our way. Residence Inn by Marriott. Like I said, we're a little bit away from the front lobby. We got some people or guests maybe checking in. Maybe they'll say something. That's the key, guys, is just to get someone to say, hey, there's a camera guy out there and see how they uh, handle it. Will they just uh, leave me alone or will they try to violate my rights? Who knows? Just saw one of the front desk uh, walking by. He was looking out the window. Um, it's pretty dark. I'm kind of behind the cars and the trees here. I don't think he saw me. I don't even think he was looking for me. Well, we'll see, guys. It's only been about 10 minutes. We'll hang out for about a half hour and see what happens. Got someone leaving in a hurry. Looks like it's starting to get busy, guys. Got a bunch of vehicles in here. Good job, good job. She was just getting dropped off. Hope oh, she was going to her door over there, guys. Now she kind of changed direction to go towards the front. I have a feeling she's gonna go tell the front that there's a guy out there with a camera. She was literally going for that area, but then changed her course. Right, there she is. She's pointing over here too. You can see her right there. Here they come. You can see them guys. They're like, oh no, there's a guy with a camera.
you looking for something? No, I'm good. Appreciate it. Are you recording cars or? Well, I don't answer questions, but appreciate your help. Okay. You know this is the hotel, right? Oh, I didn't know that. It is. Gotcha. And you're scaring people at our hotel for recording their cars and uh, stuff? That's not my intent. Okay. Just let them know I'm just a guy with a camera. Okay. And I I'll call the police. No, let's not do that. Let's not waste resources, ma'am. Well, I'm going to do that. Ma'am, we can work this out. You can leave. What can I do to resolve this so you, you don't have stop to... Stop being weird and stop recording people's Ma'am, you, you approached me. Yeah. And I'll call the police. Don't approach a cameraman if you don't want to be recorded. I will call the police. Thank you so much. Ma'am, let's not waste resources. Come on, Karen. <laughs> I wish I was a Karen. I'm from the hood. Karen. You are the Karen. El Karen. Los Karen. Oh, Karen's calling the police. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. I still haven't seen the police. Maybe she's, uh, oh, nope, there she's on the phone right there, guys. Probably giving the description. Karen from the hood, guys. I was about to take off, but looks like she is uh, on the phone with someone. Might not be the police, could also be, you know, a supervisor. She might have been just trying to scare me. Not everyone's from the hood like her. There's the police right there, guys. Hi. How are you doing? All right, guys. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hello. What are you doing? What's your name? Well, I don't give out that kind of information. My mom said not to talk to strangers. She's a smart woman. Yeah. She's very wise. Hey, um, I've never met you before. Are you going to hang around over here? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, you're kind of scaring people. I already explained to them that's not my intent. Okay. I haven't spoke to anyone. But you could see how they might get a little bit concerned. Right? Not really. Okay. Well, some people are a little bit intimidated. They're it's just concerned. a camera. I know, but that's still... What's your name and badge, please? Uh, Officer Fajardo. Perfect. Badge number is 145754. Perfect. Do you have a business card by any chance? Absolutely. I absolutely do. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being professional. And could you write the incident number on the back of that card? Yes, absolutely. Hey, just so I know that you're going to be hanging around the area for your safety, you know, and if we get uh -oh. another call, is it okay to get your name? Oh, uh, no, I don't. You can call me guy with a camera. You're being nice. I don't want to do that. Good citizen. And if, if something happens to you, I really want to make sure that we know um at least who you are well, i'm sure you could look at my my wallet or something do you have an idea or anything oh i don't answer questions i'm just saying if something happened to me like if you found me ran over or something okay so maybe you don't want to put it on the or you know because you're filming maybe you don't want to say your name oh nothing okay. to do with that i could always edit it okay well is it okay to just get your first name and last no name? unfortunately i don't do that like i said i really don't you're making people nervous. I mean, if you want to, I, I mean, I can make you a deal. If you want to show me your ID, like your actual ID where you well, live, I, I could show you mine. You don't have to give me your ID. I never well, you. you can give me your first name and your last name. No, just guy with a camera. Okay, come on, buddy. Just guy with a camera. Okay, so I come in peace. So check this out. You are absolutely allowed I know. to film. And I'm sure you know this. So um, I could be on my way. Could I get that card with the incident number, please? Oh, absolutely. And just let me finish. I don't need any directives. I hear you. And I didn't call you for assistance. You might want to go talk I to them. I, I will, but check this out. I don't want to make whatever you're doing, whatever your intention is. I don't want to complicate it or, you know, step on your toes. Yeah, go live. So that we can avoid, you know, any further issues. Just do me a favor. Got just, vehicle number two. He's just here to make sure that I'm okay. Just do me a favor. Just stay away from this very nice facility with people who just want to come. I didn't come inside here at all. Okay. They said that you're recording cars here. I'm just recording. I know, but that's not nice. There's a lot of people who don't want their cars. I mean, there's nothing per there's nothing confidential on the outside of a vehicle. Okay, but you understand what I'm saying, though, right? Not really. I'm a little stay, confused. Stay on the sidewalk. Stay on the sidewalk. I know. Don't eat yellow snow. Don't run with scissors. Don't, don't sleep don't with your partner's there. wife. Don't beat your dog. I get it. Don't go over there and, you know, they I get it. I get it. Okay? And, you know, just a word of advice, like I mentioned to her, like, hey, if you don't want to be recorded, don't approach a cameraman. That's just... 
she was a she looked like she was a front desk clerk or something i didn't speak to any of the people that were walking by trying to give them their you know space well here is my appreciate it card with the incident number again just uh can i get your name and badge for the record that's the del mundo badge number is one four four three five perfect i appreciate being cordial right. do, you, do you have a business card by any chance no i don't have any with all, all those stripes and you don't got a business card? Give them away a Could lot. you do me a favor, write it on the back for yeah, me? Sure. Appreciate it, my man. Alright guys, so you can see uh, they are being educated. You know, she's being very professional. I don't want to give her too much of a hard time, guys. At the same time, you know, when they're trying to get my name and information. You know, the difference is when they give me their name, I can't do a background check i can't find out where they live none of that stuff they get my information they can find out everything so i'm not looking for that Two zero zero one. Have a good day. Be safe. Thank you. You be safe All right. So that was easy, guys. Now that they've been educated, code four. We'll call it a night, guys. I'm not going to linger around here all day. I just needed to prove a point that it's perfectly lawful for me to record. And then if the police are called. How do they handle it? Do they educate them or do they try to violate my rights? Code four guys. All right guys, thanks for checking out my latest audit over in Menlo Park, California at the Residence Inn by Marriott. Let me know your thoughts, pass or fail. You be the judge. Make sure to pound that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support by sharing these videos. Last but not least, no bootlicking. Menlo Park, California, out of here, guys. We'll see you on the next one.